Hello and welcome to the Pat Hipster Channel. It is I, Jonathan, and today I'm at Chick Fil A. With a couple new things. First and foremost, the main event is this the pepper pimento honey chicken sandwich. I think that's what we call it. Honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. You can get it with a regular, grilled, or spicy filet. I got it with a spicy filet. It comes with this pepper pimento cheese, the spicy filet, which has honey glazed on top of it, as well as slices of jalapenos. This was a test item not too long ago, and I saw someone try it. They really liked it. In fact, they ate like several times. Um, so I was excited to see that it finally came out nationwide so I can try it. And without further ado, I'm going to try it. The honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. Well, I can tell you right now, it's good. It's got that regular, the, the pimento cheese is dripping everywhere. The delicious flavor from the spicy Chick-fil-A flake. The honey on top of that. And then you have the jalapenos, add a little spice, and pimento cheese, which is really creamy. Mm, that pimento flavor. So good. The contrast with the honey and the pepper and that savory chicken. Mm. This is a multi thumbs up. Highly recommend. Ooh. You have to bear with me. So I'm just going to eat it all. Mmm. This is delicious. Mm. Look at the little snack. Taste wise, if I had more thumbs up, we would get more than two. But it's delicious. The honey, pepper, pimento cheese combination, chef's kiss. Um, you can, uh, I'm going to try to regain my thoughts that I had before going to this that I want to go through because. If you haven't tried this, you need to. It is maybe the best chip and sandwich out there now. Anyway, let me uh, go through a few other things. Um, this is the first time Chick fil A has had jalapenos on anything. Um, you can also ask for a side of jalapenos, in which they give you four slices of jalapeno. 
and we're trying to see just how spicy their jalapenos are. By themselves. It's your average pickled jalapeno for nachos kind of spice level. Since they are pickled, not as spicy as like a fresh jalapeno. The next item <clears throat> they want to review is the, what do they call it, the Caramel Crumble Milkshake. This is also a new thing. It just came out today. Because he has a whipped cream and a cherry on top. And it just looks like it's kind of the same whitish color. I can feel a little crunchies in there. Let's taste it. Definitely did some chewy bits. Crunchy chewy bits. It tastes like caramel. It was a crunchy crumble. Caramel crumble milkshake. That's exactly what it is. Exactly what it tastes like. If a caramel milkshake with crumbly bits in it is what you want, then this. It's easy to find at Chick fil A. Now, you can also get a side of the pimento cheese, which I did. That's what it looks like. Pretty liquidy. Um, it's just like shredded cheese, some pimento peppers, and mix in a sauce, which I'm assuming is a mayo, probably based sauce. But I'm going to try it out by itself, without touching any chicken or anything. See what it tastes like by itself, how spicy it is. It's really not spicy, but you get like a really pepper flavor. Like a, somewhere between a bell pepper and like a pickled pepper. I believe the cheese is a shredded cheddar. It's a mild cheddar though. It just adds like a really nice creamy mild cheese note. I think it tastes better on the sandwich, uh, especially with the jalapenos and the honey all together. It really makes a great item. Now, <clears throat> those are the two new items that I was going to review today. But I do want to point out two things that I found out you can do. And these might be considered secret menu items or uh, menu hacks or whatnot. But I found out that if you order the iced tea or lemonade, you can uh, ask them to put strawberry uh, syrup in it, but it really ends up being like chunks of strawberry, and they're all the way at the bottom here, so it's going to be impossible for me to show you them. But I have this. There we go. Let's see if I can fish that out. It's like a little strawberry mush chunk. You can get that, put in your lemonade, put in your iced tea. After trying it, I probably wouldn't. It's weird having a lemonade and then occasionally getting a kind of like a mushy strawberry chunk to it. But you can. The other thing I found out you could do is ask them to put bacon bits on top of your macaroni and cheese, which their macaroni and cheese 
It's already good. But I never knew they had bacon bits to put on it. Let me try that. It's good. Baked mac and cheese with bacon. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've tried the honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. If you've tried it regular, spicy, or grilled. And if any of them are more superior in your opinion. I always go for the spicy one just because it's not that spicy and it's just more flavor. In this case, I really liked it. So that's what I would recommend. Anyway, feel free to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. <coughs>